Okay, welcome to our first, I don't even want to say annual, it's our first monthly broadcast. This is a, not a podcast, because I was just told that officially a podcast is somebody list watching it on an iPod. This is a webcast for you to watch at any time on your computer. We're going to start doing these every month. Rather than me send out a monthly newsletter at the end of a month, we're going to take uh, five or ten minutes and do a quick webcast, give you a download of where we're at, where we're going, and how we're going to get there. And I think this is a, this is a great experience for us, and it's a great chance for us to communicate uh, more effectively and more timely. The only bad part about this is I got here a few minutes ago and, and the, uh, the guy behind the camera looked at me and said, your hair is all standing up in the back and you look ridiculous. So uh, that's not the kind of confidence that I want from my camera crew when I start. But that said, we're in good shape. We just finished truck month. We had an unbelievable month and we're going to talk about some of those successes. And I just want to start off by saying thank you. Uh, you delivered uh, the best truck month we could have ever imagined, imagined. And what that did for the nation has really carried us on a big day for a big close. And I'll talk to you about that in a second. So last night, it was the biggest close we've had in five years. Uh, we sent over 5,600 tickets last night, reporting more sales in one night than many regions across the country reported all month. We hit our truck month sales objective of 30,000 units in two months. We, we set an objective six months ago for February and March that we were going to sell 30,000 trucks. We sold 30,000 trucks. And we sold 30% of the National F Series last month. We traditionally run at about 20%. We jumped up 10 percentage points uh, in, in one month to, to represent three out of every 10 full-size trucks sold in the nation last month, a real staggering number. When you look at what the uh, net effect was, the impact was a very positive sign for us. We finished the first quarter with a 1% gain year over year. That's a 1% gain. That's the second quarter in a row. We have two consecutive quarters now where we had a year over year increase. In the fourth quarter, as you remember, we were up 5%. In the first quarter, we're up one full percentage point. Now, you might say, well, that doesn't sound like a whole lot. Well, look, the industry, the national industry was down 10% in the first quarter. The division was down in the first quarter, and we were up 1%. If you look at what's happening here in the Southwest region, our industry uh, is finally getting to feel some of the impact of the national industry decline. We were down 3%. Our industry was down 3% in January. Our industry was forecasted to be down at 5% for February. And we estimated, based on our Converse data, through the 23rd of March, the industry was down in the Southwest region 16%. So the, uh, the industry kind of came in like a lamb and out like a lion in the month of March, we think it finished probably down about 10%. But when you look on average, the first quarter in the Southwest market finished negative on a year-over-year -year basis for the quarter, probably in the high single digits. Again, negative industry in the region, negative in the country, and we were up 1%. That says a lot for what's happening here, and a lot with regard to our ability to tie in and execute a plan that's well thought out of. And I want to thank all the FDFs. I want to thank the agency and the, and the credit company for helping to deliver just a great program. And then I want to thank our own team that helped kind of cram down all those extra F-Series to get us in place to have the best F-Series month that we've had in a full year since last year. And the impact, the net impact is that many of you dealers cashed in big time on the biggest stair step in the history of this region with $1,500 retro to Unit 1. And I can't wait to see the payout effect of that. I'll talk more about a profit impact in, in the region in a minute. Let me give you some specifics for the first quarter in the Southwest market. Our car sales were up 16% in the first quarter year over year, driven by Focus. Focus was up 81%. We're down to a 30-day supply in Focus after last month. We had a huge run on Focus. We're selling 1,500 Focuses a month. We're going out with a wholesale number this month of 2,000 focuses. But trust me, if you want extra focuses, you can get it. I already got a call from Mack Hike in Houston. They want 200 extra focuses. They got it. If you want extra product on Focus, which is a growth vehicle line, a great opportunity, tell your zone manager, sign up for them, and we'll deliver them. And you're going to be happy you did as we go forward because we're going to get very aggressive with that vehicle as we look at our second quarter plan. CUV sales up 39%. Escape sales are up 28% year over year for us in the region. Edge sales are up 87% year over year, a very hot vehicle, and that whole segment continues to grow. What's surprising is our CUV sales are up 7%. We're the only region in the country that has an increase year over year on traditional SUV sales. Explorer sales are up 3% for us. Hard to believe, but we've got a gain, year over year gain on Explorer. 
Expedition up 10%. That segment is on fire for us. The whole segment continues to grow, and customers are finally finding out the great value that we have in the Expedition, and they're migrating. We're conquesting more customers from Tahoe and Suburban into our Expedition and Expedition EL, and that vehicle continues to grow despite $3 and $3.50 of the gas pump. Full-size truck sales were down 11% year over year. That's the only segment and the only vehicle line were down, but it's being partially offset by a huge increase in Ranger. Ranger sales were up 57% year over year in the first quarter. Huge gains for us on Ranger. We're down to a nine day supply after truck month. We're trying to get as many more as we can get in the region and we're asking for more products. So that's one that we're gonna continue to grow our share this year, but we've gotten great comps on a year over year basis. F-Series is down 14%, and we've got a great plan in place to get even more aggressive in the next quarter to drive our business and deliver our sales volume on full-size truck. Uh, in March, we had 14 of the top 25 dealers in the country. We had 56%, in other words, of the top 25 dealers in the country. Let me read you off. First off, Sam Pack, Tony Pack. Uh, Terry Rich, Five Star Ford, North Richland Hills on fire. 482 sales last month. That was only nine units less than Galpin. Nine units less. R basically right on top. And he was number two in the world last month. Number two in the country. That means number two in the world. Was a, we're the largest volume area of the country here. Uh, Planet Ford, number five in the country. Number two in the region, 338. Randall, great job. Uh, Casa Ford, Clay, Justin. 334 last month, number six in the country, number three in the region. Shamali, right on their tails, 319. There's a dog race in El Paso. Who's going to win this year, Casa or Shamali? Shamali's got like a 50-unit lead, but Casa has taken him to the woodshed the last two months and, and uh, spanked him a little bit, came back. Shamali was number one in the region in January. They're number one in El Paso year-to-date. But Casa showing their strength and coming up the last two months and leading that market. A great, uh, a great race for us. Tomball, big month, Brent, Ben, 315. Southway, number one, well, number one, well, number one dealer in San Antonio. Uh, Bill Jr. and Mike, great month, 291. Covert, Duke, great job by the team, uh, 268 last month. Jordan, uh, Mark and Mike, 258 last month, number two in San Antonio. Blue Bond at number three in San Antonio, 257, one behind Jordan. A great, great month for you. So great job, Wes. Mac Hike, we got Mike over there in Georgetown, 243, and Terry Shields, thank you. Uh, Westway Ford, Barton, new guy in the block, a great month, 238. Number 20 in the nation is where uh, Barton finished up at Westway. Bogus Ford, Bob Bogus, McAllen, 234 for the month, a great month. And Joe Myers, the second Van Tile operation in the, in the region, finished number 24 in the nation last month and uh, he finished at 229. So great job to those dealers. Thanks to everybody because we truly had a great month. Let's talk about dealer profits. They're up 95% in January year over year. I don't have February data yet, but it's gonna be big. I just said our profit in January was up 95% year over year. The nation was down 43% in January. Don't tell me trucks don't make a big difference to your bottom line. Let's wait to see the ripple through effect of the biggest stair step in the history of the region for February and March and see what that does for your profit in the first quarter. We broke the bank on this stair step, guys. This is going to be huge. I can't wait to see the numbers, but I guarantee our first quarter profits are going to be greater than they were last year, and they're going to exceed what's happening in the rest of the country. F-Series wholesale. All right, let's transition to talk about wholesale and where we're going for the rest of this year. First and foremost, we only have two wholesales left on F-Series. You've got to get them while they're hot. We got uh, 2,350 F-Series uh, to wholesale. Those are F-150s in May. And then we balance out in June with 8,600. That's 10 Gs. We got 10,000 of these things left for the model year. That's it. You got 400 dealers in the region. You're talking about 25, 30 of those per dealer. That's not a lot. Some of the dealers will get more because of their sales history. If you're looking at your stock, you've got to count on selling 90% of your 2008, 90% uh, of your sales in 2008 will be 08 models, 90%. Only 10% will be 09 models. So this is the wholesale. Your guys are going to come. Trust me, balance out. Everybody's going to take everything they can get. Not a lot extra next month. If you want extra F-Series to carry through the year and you just sold down a good number of them last month, buy them this month. Tell your zone manager you want the SUP. If you don't, don't come back to us in, in April or, or August in September and say, I'm out of trucks. I don't have anything to sell. I need help. Because you know what? We're going to go back and say, you had the opportunity to do it. 
you had to step up. So now's the opportunity. Those people who, who seize the day will reap the benefits down the road. 90% this, this year will be sold to 08 models, 10% 09. Get them while they're hot. Your zone managers are wholesaling. 08 uh, order mix, I just said, you want to take for this point on, make sure you're ordering XLTs or lower. Don't get anything higher or get very few uh, models that are higher on the F-150 because the new adopters, the people who are going to want the 09 are going to want to buy the fully loaded King Ranch, the Lariats, the, the Premier units. They're going to want those high-end 09 models. And so that's where you're going to stock up there. The old models, though, we're going to want to take advantage of mid-series to low-series. So get your XLTs, get your Texas edition or your Oklahoma edition, max out on those babies, and I'm going to tell you why you're going to want to do that. I would stay away from the XL work truck. We're going to get so aggressive on our Texas edition package that that XL work truck is going to be difficult for us to sell. So if you got them now, sell them. Unless you already sold them, just keep selling them, get rid of them, but then focus on your Texas and Oak editions and then take your XL V6s. This is the last time to get your V6s, by the way. So once the V6s are done, we go without a V6 uh, on that regular cab price leader for the next two years. So uh, this is it. Your 09 order mix, I just said, take premium and take high-end units because that's what your early adopters are going to want to get. 08 model launch launches. Let's just shift real, real quick and talk about May. We start building the Flex, the Glass Roof Mustang, and then the new Escape powertrain. So that's what we're launching in May. July, the biggest launch of the year for us. We start building the all-new F-150. And then in December, we start building the Fusion, and we build a hybrid in the Fusion model. So we've got a lot of product le left to launch this year, and next year will be a strong year with launches. Let's transition to our April incentive plan. And uh, real high level, I just want to tell you what we got in April. You already saw the announcements. Uh, but we've got a great plan. Uh, Michelle Bartlett, Megan Palachek, uh, has done a great job laying out our quarterly incentive plan, and, and I'm really excited to see what we've got, and I think you're going to be excited as well. We, uh, we launched today a $1,000 Conquest cash on Focus, Fusion, and Edge. This is a great opportunity to bring in new customers to our brand. Remember, 50% of the customers that are buying these units right now are coming into your store are new to our brand, they're Conquest. We think it'll actually go up even higher as we offer a $1,000 Conquest cash. We also are holding the 0 for 66 or 0 for 60 on the F-150 uh, across the region. And we still have the opportunity to add on top of that your $1,600 discount package, which is a rebate this year on your F-150 Texas or Oak Edition. So 0 plus 1,600 or 6,100 customer cash. So basically the same visible incentive we had for truck month, we're carrying it into April. So we shouldn't lose any momentum on full-size truck. Super duty. We're going to jack that baby up. We're going to go to 5G's customer cash. So we're getting rid of the loyalty. We're getting rid of the Ford credit bonus cash. It is 100% open cash, 5G's on the hood. You can take it anywhere you get, and you can book those deals. So this is a great chance to take advantage of that. And we're going to start moving some super duties and volume going forward. Uh, we held the expedition cash at 5G's. That's 4G's customer cash and a G-Note uh, Ford Credit bonus cash. So 5G's is our message, which is a number that drives volume with full-size expedition. That's the number that works, and we're going to stay with it. We also are taking the customer cash on Taurus up to 4G's. It's all going to be open. It's all going to be retail. 4G's on the hood, and that's going to help drive the volume on that line. Mustang, uh, we're increasing the cash to 2500 bucks. Uh, and then we're even going to get stronger as we get into our 10-day sale. And then the, uh, the Edge, we took it to 2G's customer cash, which is a $500 enhancement for the quarter. SDI, as we committed to you last month, we're going to go on F-150 all cabs for the full quarter. So $300 flat on all your F-150s for the quarter, and that's how we'll ride it out. And uh, we rolled that way last quarter. We're going to roll that way again this quarter, and it's just going to help you uh, advance our sales with the full-size trucks on F-150. Let's transition to the 10-day sale, because where do we go? That's the first half of April. Starting the 18th of April on, uh, we kick into a 10-day sales event. This is a very similar event to what we did in the first quarter in January. We just get a lot gutsier, a lot more bold with our message, and we get bigger cash messages out there. The theme this quarter, if you haven't got it already, it's big cash. We're going big-ass cash, and we're going to go at the market. We're going to cash in on the ability to be able to go to outside banks for a lot of our deals. You also ask for us to make the cash open cash for our 10-day sale because a lot of these vehicles, Focus and Fusion, are bringing in early level uh, first-time buyers for us, and they have a difficult time getting bought, so you need the flexibility to go anywhere you need to go. 
you also need the cash to be able to get them into a vehicle. So it's open cash of three G's on Focus Fusion. When we get the Mustang and Edge, they'll also have the thousand. So basically the message is a thousand retail open cash on Focus Fusion, Mustang, Edge, Taurus, and Taurus X. The cash levels vary. Uh, on Focus and Fusion, it's three, it's three grand. On Mustang and Edge, it's 2,500. And then on Taurus and Taurus X, it's four G's. Is that right, Michelle? What is it? Why don't you correct me? So Edge is three G's, Mustang is 2,500 bucks, Focus Infusion is three G's, Taurus and Taurus X is four G's. I got my product expert over. She doesn't want to get on camera. She's got the red outfit today. She'd be perfect, but she, she's going to stand on the side and give me the cue on the side. So thank you, Michelle, my, my C&I expert. Advertising, advertisable message, uh, I just mentioned to it. And we're also going to put in the rotation F-Series. We're going to advertise it at 6,100 cash back for an F-150 Texas Oak Edition or 5G's cash back on a Super Duty. Straight deals, big cash, let's run at the market for 10 big days. We got all of our FDF money weighted to the second half of the month. Make sure you've got your Tier 3 advertising weighted to the second half of the month. Make sure your guys don't go on vacation the second half of the month and we just get at the market and make it uh, a big month for us in the month of April. Let's take a look at the ads. 10 days, one place, your Texas Ford dealer to get up to 3,000 cash back. Now, during the 10-day sales drive, get an extra $1,000 bonus cash on top of all current offers. That adds up to 3,000 total cash back on Focus or Ford Fusion. Add your bonus cash for a total three grand cash back. The 10-day sales drive ends April 30th, so do not wait. 10 days, one place, your best in Texas Ford dealer. 10 days, one place, your Texas Ford dealer to get up to $6,100 cash back. Now, during the 10-day sales drive, save big on F-Series, the best-selling trucks 31 straight years. Get a built Ford Tough Super Duty with 5,000 cash back or an F-150 Texas Edition with 6,100 cash back. The 10-day sales drive ends April 30th, so do not wait. 10 days, one place, your best in Texas Ford dealer. Okay, so that's the April 10-day sale. It's a great, hard-hitting event, and we're really excited about it. And I know it's going to drive the volume into your showrooms that you need with a sense of urgency so that we can get our business done for the month and move on to even a bigger event for us. In May and June, we've got a big, big event for the quarter. The FDFs and the agencies are already working on the treatment for it, but I'll give you a little teaser. It's going to be $1,500, open cash, big money, so customers can take the summer off and go do the things they like to do. Uh, we're also going to take our F, our F series, our Texas Edition and Oak Edition, and add a G note to the Texas Edition package and the Oklahoma Edition package to take that zero plus message up to zero plus twenty six hundred bucks in May and June. So we said big cash. I mean big cash. We're going at the market. Stock up, buy those F series, and get ready because the train is coming, and I want you all on it. When we look at new news in the region, we got some new news. Uh, CPO, we've got the pilot. We're a pilot region in the country. We're one of two regions in the country that have CPO in terms of a uh, pilot opportunity. We got resources. We've got des dedicated trainers. And we're ready to launch on the 2nd of April, uh, probably the most unique program ever in the history of our CPO program. First and foremost, we've enhanced the program to be able to certify vehicles up to 80,000 miles. Second, we're going to have on every vehicle a three-month, 1,500-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty. So it's something that we've always needed. It puts us on competitive footing, and it's going to be a great peace-of-mind opportunity for you to be able to give to your customers as they buy a CPO unit. Third, Super Duty. Yes, I said Super Duty is added to the CPO program. I'm telling you, if you take a Super Duty in trade, you're going to want to certify it because even better than the fact that Super Duty is included, we're going to be first in the industry the first brand in Texas is the first market in the country to do this, to offer consumer rebates uh, on CPO units. So we're going to offer rebates on used vehicles, believe it or not. Uh, this is going to be a great opportunity for you to bolster your profitability, to take in trades more aggressively, and to offer peace of mind. Remember, these CPO units, the reason why they're so valuable to you and to us is first and foremost, they turn 15 days faster than any other used vehicle. Second, you average $500 more gross on a CPO unit than any other used vehicle on your lot. Third, you get all the benefits with a warranty and extended opportunity to take care of your customers with upsell on warranty. And fourth, you're going to be first in the industry to be able to offer 
rebates on uh, CPO. And I guess if there's another one fifth, CPO is one of the best opportunities to cultivate a positive buying experience. And those customers, 15% of CPO buyers, buy a new vehicle at the same dealership that they bought their used vehicle within the next five years. So if you start booking out 50 CPOs a month, or like Somali, and you sell 1,000 CPOs a month, he's guaranteed that 150 of those customers are going to come back over the next five years, and they're going to buy a new vehicle from that store. What a great way to set up repeat business and great loyalty to the brand and to your dealership. The, uh, we're going to talk more about the consumer rebate offers. It's going to be 500 bucks open cash, 1000 bucks Ford credit cash, and there's also going to be a low APR offer if you want that instead of that. So you have an alternative. You get a 2.9, 3.9, or 4.9 rate with a 300 reserve if you take the low APR. We've got, uh, we've got dedicated trainers free of charge, and I'm going to tell you about that in a second. And we've got launch meetings. So uh, the second is in Dallas. The third, April 3rd, we're going to be in San Antonio. And the fourth, we're in Houston. If you haven't signed up, signed up. You want to be a part of this, and you're going to want to go for this. And then after we get these launch meetings, we're going to bring a, a launch meeting over to Oklahoma so we can pick up all the people in Oklahoma because this is a truly a region-wide uh, event for us. I mentioned free resources. Uh, we do have free resources. We spend a lot of money on these resources, and I encourage you all to take advantage of them. First and foremost, uh, we have free public relations. I think we're probably the only brand of the company that, or the country that offers this. But we have Liz Bradford in Dallas at Direct Impact and Craig Castleberry, uh, and he's in Austin. These are free resources for you to call if you have a public relations event, if you're donating a vehicle to the church, if you're donating a vehicle to the local school, you're doing a ride and drive program, you're doing a parade, you're doing a, uh, a fiesta in town, anything that you're sponsoring, any kind of charitable activity that you want to get some public relations activity, these people will help you write a press release, they'll help you get people there, media there, TV stations there, that's what their job is. So please feel free to use them. We need to start leveraging them more to get the word out of all the great stuff our dealers do in the marketplace. Second, we've got a free digital trainer. Nobody offers free digital. These people cost you two grand a day if you have them come into your store. We're paying for that. Guy's name is Ron Kelly. He's the best in the business. He's phenomenal. I guarantee after he leaves your store, your head will be spinning. You will know more stuff about digital than you ever thought was available. We have more resources. The problem is people just don't know what we have. He's going to tell you what we have. So call Ron, email Ron, set yourself up an appointment, and take advantage of our free training on digital. CPO trainers, trainers. we have two right now. We have Terry Matheny and Tom Myers. Here's the phone number. They work for Sandy. Hey, these guys will cost you two Gs a piece to come into your store. They're going to come into your store for free, set you up on CPO. If you're already enrolled on CPO, they're going to tell you how you should utilize it more, tell you the benefits, and they're going to train your people on how to sell CPO. A great opportunity for you to make more money, for you to cultivate better customers long-term, and for us all to grow our business here profitably. So free resources. Please take advantage of those. Finally, I guess as I sum up the, uh, the, this telecast, I'd say, look, we were up 5% in the fourth quarter. We were up 1% in the first quarter, two consecutive quarters of gain in a very difficult economy and a di very difficult market. So thank you and congratulations. Our goal is to be up 2% in the second quarter and then build on that momentum in the second half of the year. So again, we got two months, our two quarters of gains. We're going to post our third quarter of gain in the second quarter, and then we're going to get ready for the biggest launch in the history of this region. That's the 2009 F-150. And that baby is bigger and badder than ever before, and I can't wait for it to come because it's going to bring a whole new breath of customers back to our showroom, and it's going to mean profitability and opportunity for us all. So thank you for tuning in. I'll talk to you next month.